Thanks for staying up late with us on TCM. I'm Alicia Malone and this is TCM Imports. And tonight we have a pair of animated films for you, both of which will probably give you nightmares. First up, it's a movie that terrified me as a child, but one I appreciate now for not being afraid to teach kids about death. From 1978, it's Watership Down. This is based on a 1972 novel of the same name by English author Richard Adams. And the the story centers on a group of rabbits. The runt of the litter is Fiverr, voiced by Richard Briers, and after he has a flash of impending doom, he convinces several of his rabbit friends to leave their warren in search of safety. Though on the way, they face a lot of danger. American producer Martin Rosen loved the original book and decided to make a film version in England. He hired an incredible group of animators, including the legendary John Hubley. Hubley had started his career in the 1930s, working for Walt Disney when he was just 22 years old. He was the art director on Bambi, Dumbo, and the Rite of Spring section in Fantasia. In the 1940s, he joined United Productions of America, where he created the character of Mr. Magoo. After being blacklisted in the 1950s, he started experimenting and by the 70s was known as one of the most adventurous and accomplished independent animators. You can see the brilliance of his work in the opening scene of Watership Down, where the myth behind the creation of the rabbit is explained. But unfortunately, during production, there were various creative disagreements, so Hubbley was forced out of production. So Martin Rosen, who had never directed a film before, was left to finish it himself. And he did a wonderful job. This is a movie that continues to influence filmmakers today, such as Wes Anderson and Guillermo del Toro, featuring a voice cast that includes John Hurt and Zero Mostel from 1978, Watership Down. I still have vivid memories of seeing Watership Down for the first time and being quite disturbed. And I'm not alone because when the film was released, the British Board of Film Classification received quite a few complaints from parents. The board had given the film a U rating for Universal with a note that though it may move children emotionally during the film's duration, it could not seriously trouble them once the spell of the story was broken. And that was not true. The film got mixed reception at the worldwide box office, but remains a cult classic today, and it was a hit on the music charts. The song Bright Eyes, sung by Art Garfunkel, was the biggest selling hit of 1979 in the UK, with over a million copies sold. We'll keep it here because up next is a Lucasfilm stop-motion animation set in the world of dreams and nightmares. Stay with us.